Hey guys, I'm going to try to get us all on the same page so that we can use Google Hangouts. Um, first thing I want you to do is open up a browser and I want you to go to plus.google.com. If you're not already logged in, um, it should ask you to log in, but that'll get, in, get you into your Google Plus account. Once we're here, there's a couple things I want you to do. I want you to go to Hangouts. Over here on the left, there's Navigation. You should see Hangouts down at the bottom. Let's go over there. And then uh, in the upper right-hand corner, there's a little gear. When you click on that, you should be able to go to your Hangouts settings. So let's go there. Let's make sure that people can send you notifications. Uh, so whatever level you're comfortable with, whether it's extended circles, your circles, extended circles means that people that are in your circles and people that are in their circles can send you notifications. But we need to make sure that people can actually send you notifications that may have been part of the problem when we tried to do this our first time. Um, maybe anybody can send you notifications. I'm actually letting people in my circles send me notifications. Um, you might want to go through all these settings here as well. Um, we may need to use an instant messenger at times even while we're on a Google Plus conversation. So uh, why don't you allow people in your circles to do that as well. And then go through all your settings here. Uh, nothing here that uh, is uh, worth noting I think. Yeah, but just make sure that people can send you notifications and can instant message with you. All right, so I'm going to go back to Google Plus. And um, then in circles, I want to make sure that everybody that's uh, part of the worship leader team is in one of your circles. So an easy thing to do to create a new circle, just drag somebody from your list of contacts into this new circle here. I'm going to suggest that we all create a new circle. So that's how easy it is to create a new circle. I'm actually going to take this person out of that circle as well. So that's how easy it is to take them out of a circle. Uh, I created a circle here called Worship Leaders and I want all of you guys to be in that circle and I'll show you why. Um, interestingly, Tony has two accounts here. So there's one here uh, from Baltimore uh, his other one's from Baltimore too, but uh, I think he prefers the picture of fried chicken. So I'm going to take that one and I'm going to drag it into my worship leaders circle. So now I've got seven people in this worship leaders circle. The reason that's important is it's kind of a, a grouping, makes it easy for us to work with each other when we're working on um, uh, this um, conference calling application. So now that that's said and done, hopefully that will get us to the point where we can all communicate with each other using Google+. That's pretty much all you need to do. The reason I made a special worship leader circle is when I go to Hangouts and I start a new Hangout, let's say I want to call all of you guys. So let me just uh, kind of squinch this into view. So I could start a Hangout here. I could drag people from my list of contacts over here. I can type them in. What I'm going to do is type in this circle. So what I want to do is I want to start a Hangout with that whole group. So now I don't have to go and find people individually and call them one at a time. Um, and then I could just start the Hangout. That should send out the message for everybody to come on in and be a part of the Hangout. Uh, that should do it. I think that's it for my uh, tutorial. If you have any issues, feel free to get back to me. Um, at some point in time, I'm going to want to actually test this out and make sure it all works. But uh, try to email me back and let me know that you've been able to set this up as I've suggested. Thanks.